Warning, this video is not intended to be a substitute for the assembly instructions found in the product's owner's manual. The owner's manual instructions will provide details that are essential to proper assembly. Before you begin, we recommend the following. You assemble the product in the same location you intend to use it. Although most steps can be performed by one person, you will need a second person to accomplish some steps. When removing the packaging, it is helpful to remove the box lid and then use it to collect all the packaging materials that will later be discarded. You will also want to lay all the parts out where they can be readily available. Step 1. While a second person lifts the folding frame, attach the rear stabilizer to the folding frame. Step 2. While a second person lifts the frame, attach the front stabilizer to the frame. Step 3. Orient the small bumper so that the recessed holes are in the indicated location. While a second person lifts the frame, attach the small bumper to the underside of the frame. Step 4. Slide the top cover upward onto the upright. Have a second person hold the upright and the top cover near the frame. Connect the upright wire to the frame wire. Step 5. Insert the upright into the frame. Attach the upright. Do not tighten the screws yet. Slide the top cover downward. Do not press the top cover into the frame covers yet. Step 6. Insert the upper body arms into the upper body legs. Attach the upper body arms. Make sure that the lock nuts are inside the hexagonal holes. Do not fully tighten the button bolts yet. Step 7. Using a small plastic bag to keep your fingers clean, apply a generous amount of the included grease to the upright axle and to the two wave washers. Insert the upright axle into the upright and center it. Slide a wave washer onto each end of the upright axle. Slide the right and left upper body arms onto the upright axle. Step 8. At the same time, tighten a screw and a washer into each end of the upright axle. Firmly tighten the screws. Step 9. Attach the rear upright cover to the upright. Step 10. Attach the front upright cover around the upright. Step 11. Apply a small amount of grease to the short pedal axle and to a washer. Next, tighten the screw and a washer a few turns into one end of the short pedal arm axle. While a second person holds the front end of a pivot arm inside the bracket on the pedal arm, insert the short pedal arm axle through both parts. Tighten another screw and washer a few turns into the short pedal arm axle. Then tighten both screws at the same time. Repeat this step on the other side. Step 12. Attach the pedals to the pedal arms. Step 13. Apply a small amount of grease to the long pedal arm axle and to a washer. Next, tighten a screw and a washer a few turns into one end of the long pedal arm axle. While a second person holds the front end of the pedal arm inside the bracket on the upper leg, insert the long pedal arm axle through both parts. Tighten another screw and washer a few turns into the long pedal arm axle. Then tighten both screws at the same time. Repeat this step on the other side of the elliptical. Step 14. Attach the inner and outer leg covers to the upper body leg. Do not over tighten the screw. Step 15. Remove and discard the cap on the adjustment pins. Attach an adjustment knob to the adjustment pins. Then press the tabs on a knob cap into the adjustment knob. Repeat this step on the other side of the elliptical. Step 16. Tighten the six button bolts from step six. Tighten the six screws from step five. Attach the front leg covers to the upper body arms. Then slide the top cover downward and press it into the frame cover. Step 17. While a second person holds the console cover near the upright, insert the upright wire upward through the console cover. Then slide the console cover onto the upright. Step 18. Have a second person hold the handlebar near the upright. Insert the pulse wires into the hole in the front of the upright. Then pull the pulse wires upward out of the top of the upright. Step 19. Insert the upright wire and the pulse wires upward through the handlebar. Attach the handlebar to the upright. Step 20. While a second person holds the console near the handlebar, connect the console wires to the upright wire and to the pulse wires. 
Insert the excess wire into the console or into the handlebar. Attach the console to the handlebar. Step 21. Attach the console cover to the console. Step 22. Plug the power adapter into the receptacle on the frame of the elliptical.